What's going on guys? So I got some fun and exciting stuff for today. A little bit different of a video here. I don't have much work to do like installation wise, but I was setting up some consultations and uh, finishing up some installs for later on this week. So that's what I've been doing here, just working in front of the computer and getting everything situated here. But I do have some exciting stuff. I finally have all the gear I need ready for my mobile podcast setup. And uh, for those of you guys, I've been, I've been like, kind of like teasing what I'm about to do, what I'm gonna do, my plans are. So in a nutshell, what I plan on doing is I plan on traveling to other tinters and doing in-person, face-to-face video interviews. So kind of like, like a Joe Rogan style interview where I'd be in front of him with professional grade gear, uh, professional microphones, cameras, the whole nine. It's not gonna be shot live, but it will be it will be shot, I will be there live and then I'll post, I'll edit it and post it and then upload that entire video. But I think it's gonna be, it's gonna bring something a little bit different, um, uh, maybe a new spin on things uh, to the, the interviews that are kind of going out there right now. So um, so today I just kind of wanted to show you what I have going on and, um, and figuring out how I'm gonna get it all in the case and get it all organized. But here it is. So, it's kind of hard. No, 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 we can see it all here. So this is the entire mobile setup. One of the great things about this setup is that it's going to be 100% mobile and I can actually set it up wherever I want. I don't, it doesn't matter where I'm going to be um, because this will actually run without any power. Um, so it has its own power source and it could, it could be standalone. It's going to be awesome. So I guess one of the ideas is that not only will I be able to do face-to-face -face interviews with, with high quality uh, video, so I can be able to see the interviewer, the interviewee, and both of us together, um, but you're gonna get professional grade audio as well. So it's gonna be phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal content. Um, so briefly, let's go over, let's see what we got going on here. Um, powering the whole thing is the Rodecaster Pro. Um, that's gonna power all the audio. Uh, we have Pod, my Rode pod mics here with Audio-Technica M50s as, as headphones right here. Got two sets of them here. Uh, the, the Rode DS1 mic stand, these are kind of smaller form factor ones. I, I have the, the boom arm style ones. Those are actually out of stock, but, uh, but uh, they are also a little bit bigger. These are a little bit more smaller and transferable. Uh, we got the, go, the XLR cables for the XLR mics, which is gonna be awesome. We also have two GoPros. There's actually gonna be a three GoPro setup. Uh, one is gonna be for the interviewer, another one's gonna be for the interviewee, and then I'm gonna have a third setup, uh, a wide angle for both of us at the same exact time. Um, and these, this one we have the, uh, the Max Grip Plus tripod. So this is a stand that's gonna be for the, for the GoPros. Again, I got three of them. There's two here, but I actually have three. I'm actually using the GoPro right now on, uh, on for this shoot right now. Uh, so I have three GoPro tripods, which these actually are pretty awesome because they break down into like a small handle. Like this whole handle goes down into the handle and it's very, very small form factor. And then it opens up, it's great. Great for travel. Uh, an extra battery, so there's a battery that comes with the GoPro and then an extra battery for, and then a, a third battery for a dual charger. So I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine batteries. But, um, but to be able to go for more than an hour or two, I need three batteries per GoPro plus a charger running at the same exact time. So those are gonna be able to run the GoPros. What I have here is a RAV power brick. Um, it's a special power brick because the Rodecaster Pro is able to go wirelessly with, with, a, with a power brick, um, but it's, it's something special. I forget exactly what it is, but you need a certain amount of amperage. So you need a special power brick to be able to power the Rodecaster Pro. Um, without, without the enough uh, amperage, then you end up just getting, uh, you, it won't work. So, and then the, the DC USB one, that is the power connector for the power brick to the, to the Rodecaster Pro. The SC9 is a TRRS to TRRS cable. This means I'll be able to go ahead and plug in um, on my laptop 
or a uh, or a another phone or computer that I'll be able to go ahead and connect it to there. We can actually set up a go uh, a phone and do a phone interview and take phones while we're interviewing. Plus, that also has Bluetooth, so I have the I have the capability of bringing on uh, myself and an interviewer and then two other people via uh, via phone phone recordings. And if I really wanted to. Uh, this is just the setup for this uh, for this traveling podcast, but I also have a third mic, um, the one that I use in my stand, uh, in my studio with my own uh, with my own. I think it's a PS1 uh, boom arm, um, so I could actually get a third mic in here if I really wanted to. Um, and then these are these are XLR IDs, so basically I'll be able to connect these to the XLR cables so that I can cable management and make sure everything is good. Lastly, one of the last things here is just some, some tempered glass uh, protectors. This is gonna be for the front and the back glass for the GoPros. And then the last but not least, I hold it all together. This is the, the clear, uh, I think this is called Sweetwater KSB case. This is a giant traveling case. And I can so show you how big it is here. So this is a traveling case. Um, it's slightly bigger than carry-on. So my goal is that I want to, I, I don't want to check this stuff in, right? Because all this right here and all the equipment right here is a little over $3,500 worth of uh, equipment. So I don't want to check my camera in or my gear in. So this case is specifically designed with cutouts specific for the pod mics, all the gear and the Rodecaster Pro. Obviously I'm trying to protect everything that I have invested here. Um, but this case is slightly larger than carry-on. So the play is, is that when I go on planes, I'm going to take it on as a carry-on. And when they stop me at the gate, they'll check it in with like, with like the strollers and the rest of the stuff. So, uh, you know, as long as I, you know, so that way when I crawl on the, onto the plane or crawl, when I get onto the plane, they'll take it at the gate right there, right before I go. And then when I get off, then I just have to wait for it. But at least I have it and my hands are on it most of the time instead of getting it through check-in. Even though it's a pretty heavy duty case and I can put TSA locks, special locks on it that, that the TSA have keys for, I'd rather just not, you know, and, and be safe than sorry. But, uh, but yeah, just kind of want to show you guys exactly what we have going on here. Uh, the next step is that I haven't opened or un unboxed any of this because I was waiting for the case and the case took the longest to get here or is the last thing I bought actually. Um, so I wanted to be able to go ahead and get everything first and then go ahead and uh, get the case and then be able to put it all in the case when I open it. So that's what we're gonna be doing now um, and let's just see what we can do. here we're looking into here now we have the handles the sets everything here nice and organized uh, considering that the that this case will turn that way I'm actually gonna keep the heavier stuff like the stands and the uh, and the the stand arms right on this side and keep the lighter stuff to go on that uh, again there's more room for more headphones but these are probably gonna be like the headphones here I'm gonna be like probably like this and then this is where like the GoPro equipment's gonna go so next, let's go ahead and show you the pod mics and the Rodecaster Pro. So in this case, goes in like this, nice and flat, boom, boom. And now there's a cutout perfectly for the Rodecaster Pro and four pod mics. So I'm actually, I'm actually future-proofing myself a little bit because I'm, I only have two pod mics and the Rodecaster Pro. So I'll, in the future, I'll get um, another two set of pod mics, another set of XLR cables, and another another set of headphones, and then I'll be able to run a four-person uh, podcast. Now I'll probably have to run a few more GoPros just so I can have uh, a GoPro per person, um, and then one and then one GoPro for everybody. So uh, so that'll be a little bit more further down the road, but baby steps, one thing at a time.
And that's the setup right there. So the, the Rodecaster Pro and the pod mics go down nice and neat. Just like that, just like that. Now this is the, the Sweetwater SKB case i-series. Um, this is the big one. They have two different cases for the, for the Rodecaster Pro. This is waterproof, dustproof, drop proof. Um, I have, uh, there's like an air release thing right here so that when it goes on a plane, it releases the air so it doesn't like explode. Um, I have like little lock sections here so that I can lock it and put like TSA special locks on there, like locks that only the TSA have keys to. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you this case. This case is awesome. Go ahead and lift this. And boom, leave it like that. You can open up the handle just like this, boom. Just like that, we're ready to travel. So that's pretty much it guys. I did have, uh, like I said, I, I'm on the GoPro and the, the grip right now with the media mod here. Um, the only things that really aren't included is this wireless go mic that I have currently on me. I'm going to be using this as like my, I'm going to be using this setup right here as my vlogging camera now. Uh, because my DSLR in the studio works great. I'm gonna stop moving. My DSLR in the studio works great, but it's cumbersome, it's big. Um, when I put a shotgun mic on it, it's even bigger and rolling around with it. It's hard to travel with, it's harder, hard to be discreet, because sometimes you wanna, you wanna vlog, but it's kinda like, it's, uh, it's kinda awkward when, you're, <laughs> when you got this big ass camera and a big ass shotgun mic and, and whatnot. So this is definitely a little bit, a little bit easier, I think, um, and a little bit more discreet. Um, but I absolutely love this. <sighs> I'm kind of nervous because <laughs> um, I like recently, like a month ago, I fully went on my own, right? So I'm full on um, with doing DSP on my own. Um, I'm running Sun Solutions, my own personal business on my own. And then I'm like full send on the on the online presence. So if you guys can see, I'm shooting, I'm shooting more vlogs. I gotta go quickly because this battery is about to die. Um, but I'm shooting vlogs now. So these vlogs are not gonna be like tutorials or anything like that. All the vlogs are, are basically everything that's not car related, but I wanna shoot about, I'm gonna throw it in as a vlog. And then that way you guys can kind of see like the, not behind the scenes, but like other things that I'm doing, not tint related or sometimes tint related, but they're not, they're not really geared towards education. They're just, they're more, more geared towards entertainment, you know, kind of showing you like what I have for the day or what I'm doing for the day or kind of cool stuff that I have in line up here. So you guys are getting to see a bigger presence on uh, online with me. And, and it's really scary because I figured I did the math on this and I'll have it all in the description below. Um, uh, the list of everything I have and this case and everything it was a little it was close to thirty seven hundred dollars for all this and I am not like I am not making that kind of money from YouTube or anything else like that um, so it's a huge risk on my end but I think I think the content and being able to do what I want to do with this is gonna be amazing and especially like if I go I'm really planning on going to SEMA and when I go to SEMA I'm gonna have all kinds of people there big influencers throughout the industry um, not just a, a automotive window tinters but we're gonna have PPF guys rap guys um, anyone basically within the automotive aftermarket industry anyone that's interesting that I think can bring us knowledge bring us education um, and bring us a little bit of entertainment I think is gonna be good content so um, I'm just going full send. So thank you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe guys. And if you guys want to support me, check out the links below. Uh, you can buy tools from DSP. You can buy dry shrink prep as well. That goes to me. I'm doing a thing called the touring tinter now. So the touring tinter basically travels around the country, either doing trainings or doing consultations or doing uh, actual subcontract work. Uh, maybe for like shop owners that want to take a vacation and don't want to just shut down the shop, things of that nature as well. I'll put all that information in the, in the description below guys. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.